The ground is pretty rocky where I live, which means that I couldn't just stick my parasol into the ground. So I watched a couple of homemade modern videos and started to make a concrete base for it. I used melamine boards to make a mold. They're cheap, easy to work with, and the concrete doesn't stick to them. To draw a hexagon shape, I started by drawing a circle. Then I took the radius of the circle and measured it out along the sides. That gives me a perfect hexagon. I also made a smaller hexagon, which will form an indent on the bottom of the parasol stand. At first, I thought I needed to make a hole in the center for the pipe to fit in, so I cut it out on the scroll saw. But after I glued it onto the base of the mold, I realized I actually didn't need the hole, so I glued the pieces back in. <laughs> For the walls of the mold, I cut six pieces of melamine that were a bit longer than the sides of the hexagon. I cut one of the ends at a 45 degree angle, so that I can place them at the angles that I need. I attach the sides with hot glue to the bottom of the mold. That holds them in place well, while they're still easy to remove after the concrete has cured. And here you can see that the 45 degree cut on the boards really allows me to position them where I want. To prepare the pipe that will hold the parasol, I drilled a hole into it and tapped it with threads. This is for the screw that clamps the parasol into place. Then I hot glued the pipe into the mold as well. I sealed the inside of the mold with silicone, covering any of the seams and especially the raw edges of the melamine board. It got a little bit messy, but it will give a cleaner result in the end and make removing the mold a lot easier. Finally, I hot glued some scraps to the outside of the mold to act as supports for the weight of the concrete as it cures. Once I put the mold outside, the pipe got so hot in the sunlight that it actually melted the hot glue holding it in place. So I moved the mold over to the shade and glued it back in place. I also put some weights on top to make sure it won't float away. I didn't want to mix too much concrete, so I did some math to determine the volume of the mold. It's all just made out of triangles, so that was easy enough. I then mixed the concrete in two batches and scooped it into the mold.
I tried tapping the sides to get rid of any bubbles, and I even tried lifting it up and dropping it down, before I realized that the pipe wouldn't really like that. <laughs> but the concrete mix was pretty chunky anyway, so I just accepted that I would have some bubbles and not get a super smooth result. After a day, I made use of my almost done parasol stand to provide some shade while it cured further. The very top of the concrete dried very quickly in the sunlight, and it even started cracking a little, so I made sure to keep it wet. After 48 hours, I could remove the mold. The sides came off easy, and so did the main base plate. That inner hexagon was a bit trickier to remove, but with a bit of prying, I got it to come out. I cleaned the silicone and the hot glue off of the boards, so that I can reuse them for future molds. And after all of that, I can now sit in my garden, relax, and enjoy the beautiful weather. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.